Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 17th. So the 17th into the 18th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is an energy that I'm picking up on today. This reading is for somebody, not everybody. It's not a private reading. It means it doesn't have your name on it. I mean, it may be for you, but it might not be. Today is my last day for accepting private readings, just so y'all know. Any requests I get after today will not be responded to because I'm taking a break. So if you want a reading, I am booking now for December 17th, a month out. Um, and then after, I won't be taking any more readings until January 22nd. That's when I'll, I may start accepting readings again. Basically what I'm trying to say, if you want a reading, you have to book it today. It won't be done for a month. But if you want it, book it now. Because if any requests that I get after today will not be responded to. Because I'm going to, I have, I'm booked. I am Booked, 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 booked. So, we have a new opportunity unfolding, okay? Where the, this is a new path. We have an op opportunity to go down a new road, and there's probably a feeling of excitement. You know, I'm excited for this new path. I'm excited for this new opportunity. And you may be re even receiving an offer from somebody, and it excites you. That could be the case. But, <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? Even though you're feeling more confident than you have in a long time, and you're, you're feeling less stressed and less anxious, and maybe sleeping a little bit better at night, you know, just starting to feel good, you may not be fully open to allowing this new beginning, okay? So, because we have some contradictions here. We have somebody who is excited, but may get easily distracted, okay? So, we have, it's kind of like that feeling of, I'm ready to go, I'm so excited, I can't wait, and then it's like, oh, you know, I'm scared, I'm scared. So it's, it's that kind of energy. I want this. I'm excited for it, but I'm scared. I want my get my heart broke. I don't believe in love. I don't trust it. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust love. Because every time I do, it, I get shot down, stomped on, put out. So somebody needs to remember to find their courage to allow love into their life, okay? Somebody is emotionally shut down, but wanting a new beginning. I want this. I do. I really want this. But I'm scared to death. Because every time I let that fire burn, it gets put out. Somebody is trying to avoid upheaval. Avoid disaster, um, avoid hurt, 
avoid pain by closing themselves off emotionally, protecting themselves. Definitely protecting themselves. We have somebody here that is clinging to the memories of the past, holding on to the past. When they have this new exciting opportunity uh, right in front of them, all they have to do is keep walking. Don't let the fears and the anxiety and the de depressed state of mind that you have been in hold you back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's been a big release. Somebody has released a lot of the mental turmoil that they've held on to. They have. It's like it's starting to dissipate now. The next step is to really open your heart. Go out and have fun. Be more playful. Don't be so rigid. It takes courage to trust again. And somebody is lacking the courage to trust. And therefore, this new opportunity that is available isn't really being accepted or seen or acknowledged because of the fear. And somebody is doing themselves a terrible, terrible, terrible injustice because they are so afraid to get involved because they're afraid to be treated unfairly because they were treated unfairly by somebody who didn't value them. And now we're in protection mode. We are in protection mode here with this Two of Swords. It's like trying to block anybody from breaking that shield around your heart you know what I mean even though I want it I do I do I do that's what this is it's like I do want it I do want it but the need to protect myself is so great that it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to break that shield okay um somebody has it has a lot of fear of sacrifice a lot of fear of giving any energy and time to to love because like I said every time every time you do it gets you get taken advantage of and stomped on I mean so I feel like there is somebody here that needs to keep walking away from the negative thoughts keep walking in the direction that they're going because you are headed down you're headed down the right road you are you are you're headed down the right road but you've got to stop clinging to the past memories you have to. Be excited. Be confident. Hold your head up high. The reason this past didn't work out is because you have a better suit or somebody that's better suited for you. That's the, the page of wands is a better opportunity that is better suited for you. But somebody is clinging to the past memories too much. They've already lost a lot of time and a lot of energy clinging to that. They need to continue to not look back. Turn your back on that situation because it's not emotionally fulfilling. And it's time to open your heart instead of keeping it closed off. So somebody wants this new opportunity, but they need to find the willpower and the passion within to keep going. Keep going. Don't let those memories hold you back. Do not. Do not. This fear of, of sacrifice, this fear of disaster, this fear of building any kind of foundation with anybody just to get rejected and stepped on is truly just a fear. Okay, it's truly just a fear. And you are going to have to be honest with yourself that you have to find the strength within to overcome it. Okay? Just because you've been lied to and you've been treated unfairly doesn't mean that the next one is going to do that, okay? So we have somebody here that is totally um, protecting themselves, blocking anybody from really coming in even though they want it. And this opportunity is around. Even though this is reversed, it's like you have this new opportunity, you do, with somebody that is really well suited for you or a situation that's really well suited for you. But you're going to have to open your eyes and you're going to have to take off that shield and you're going to have to 
unblock your heart and you're going to have to step into the unknown, okay? That's all there is to it. You have to face your fears instead of protecting yourself. And that's where the strength comes in. Somebody hasn't found the strength to allow the new beginning that is needed. And, you know, their opportunity is here. The opportunity for something very exciting and passionate and pleasurable is right here. But that heart is so scared. Everybody, you know, has, it's like a fear of abandonment. You've done, worked so hard to get where you are today. You've been through many sleepless nights, but you've already done quite a bit of inner work because I see that some confidence is coming back. But in order for you to get to where you need to be, you have to unblock and face your fears. Because there's an opportunity for extreme happiness and commitment here. It is. I mean, there's an opportunity to have wish fulfillment. I mean, this is 11-11. To get what you want out of life. To fall in love with your best friend. But you're going to have to open your heart to do that. And you have the power to manifest it. And you have been manifesting it. That's why it's here. Because you want it. But the fears are overriding it. The fears are overriding the success of it. Somebody may feel like they're biting off more than they can chew. We definitely have some immature energy here. Somebody that needs to grow up. I don't know who that is. But somebody needs to grow up. Maybe there's even fear of commitment. Aha, aha. Fear of commitment. That could be it. That's probably why somebody has closed off emotionally because once I commit, it's just going to fall apart. So we have some sort of liar. that has made another person feel like they're not worthy. We do. We have a liar that has made somebody's self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence. Oh, what's the word? Crash. Gonna take strength to face this child, baby, uh, immature person who gets their thrills off of hurting other people, okay? So you're going to have to rise above it. We have somebody here that their energy is still lurking. Their energy is still lurking and somebody is allowing it to hinder them. It's time to re come out of this darkness. It's time to come out of this darkness and see the light. It's time for you to realize that you're not a victim of this circumstance. You're not. Walk away. 
You're not a victim of this circumstance. You have an opportunity for happiness. You can manifest it. You have an opportunity to relight that fire within you, but you have to do it. You have to treat yourself fairly because the person that hurt you, that closed you off, they're still, they're still in control because you're not, they're, you're not taking back your power. You're not bringing balance back to your life. They're still in control because you have, you're still letting them, you're still allowing it. You have to find the strength to do the right thing for you instead of allowing this person's energy to block you from an exciting new path. Because we do have an exciting new opportunity like right here. But we got these we got this immature person who is holding it back, holding it, holding it back from happening. Now this could be energy or it could actually be a person stalking, you know, that still just won't leave you alone, whether this is, um, you know, their energy that won't leave you alone, you know, it's plaguing you or they're, they're doing it physically, you know, that could certainly be the case. We have a person here that doesn't respect another person and the other person is in denial about because this is denial denial about Letting this person go. Right here. The past. Memories that people that you are clinging to. are blocking you from a passionate new beginning. Somebody is in denial about their past. Probably still watching, you know, the Facebook deal, you know, Instagram, whatever it is that you do. Going back, going back. And all it does is cause more pain and more hurt. Because you keep on, you're doing yourself an injustice and treating yourself unfairly by looking. You keep looking, you keep looking, you keep looking because you're, you're blocking the truth about the past, which is over with. It's reversed. It's over. You have somebody that's better suited for you. This I don't know who this is for. Somebody is blocking the truth about the past. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. And they're still looking at the past. Therefore, they can't open their heart to a new beginning. That's a terrible injustice. You're lying to yourself. When I said somebody needs to grow up, I mean, who is it here? Who is it? Who's the one that needs to grow up? The person that isn't accepting the truth? Or is it the person, you know, it's, I don't know who it is. And I don't care who it is. Somebody is not accepting the truth about the past. Somebody has walked away. And now they have an opportunity for a new beginning in a new direction. They don't trust the new person. They're still in love with the past, whatever the case is. Or the past hurt them so badly that they're afraid. Whoever you were dealing with in the past didn't respect boundaries at all. Lack of respect, period. And now somebody has lost their self-esteem, self-worth, courage, strength, confidence to allow a new beginning. And therefore they're blocking, blocking a new beginning. That's what this freaking reading is about. 
Somebody is blocking a new beginning because of the past. Period. And there is another opportunity with somebody that is much better suited for you. And it can lead to happiness, commitment, um, something to celebrate. But you got to come out of this victim mentality. You've got to see the light. You've got to come out of this darkness. Stop focusing on the past. That's what this is about. Because we have a new opportunity here that is being snuffed out out of fear. It's time to open your heart. So is there somebody coming in? Is there somebody coming into your life? Well, if you would allow it, yes. If you would, if you would allow it, yes. There's a new opportunity here, and it's, it's exciting. Somebody for somebody that is very well suited for you. But I have to remind you, and some of you are absolutely not going to like this one. It's not this person from the past. It's somebody new. Those of you that are in such denial are sacrificing yourself for a false foundation needlessly. It's not going to happen. You're sacrificing yourself for no reason for those of you that are clinging to the past. You have somebody that's better suited for you. Somebody, this is a rude awakening, refusing to, to wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Please open your eyes. Take the blindfold off. Stop blocking the truth because you're throwing away a wonderful, exciting, passionate opportunity by doing so. So today is about somebody blocking a new beginning. Get real. Grow up. Good luck.